Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about correcting and concealing your under eyes. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in just five easy steps. I've been noticing such a trend for bright under eyes and just really a focus on concealer in the beauty industry lately, which I love. I love concealer. All of the products that I use today are going to be linked down below, so don't forget to check that out. We're gonna jump right into it today, but before we do that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I do have a little bit of makeup on, but my under eyes are completely bare. I don't have the most intense under eye discoloration or dark circles, I guess, but I do have under eye bags that I'm starting to notice more and more. So this is good for under eye circles, but also for under eye bags. So whatever kind of issue you need to target personally, this video will be helpful for you. So for today's video, I'm only going to do one eye. I'm going to leave this eye bare. I'm gonna kind of wait till the very end to do both eyes, just so you guys can see the full effect and also the difference that every step makes. So step number one is an ice roller. This one is from Stacked Skincare. This might seem kind of gimmicky, but I promise you guys, this actually works wonders for depuffing the face, even contouring the face. Me personally, I love to use this under my eyes for depuffing when my eyes are kind of just like puffy from not sleeping or just being dehydrated, you name it. I think it really does make a difference. I'm just being really gentle and rolling in upwards motions, being really careful not to tug my under eye. The under eyes are so, so sensitive, so you wanna be extra gentle. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I can definitely see the difference. It is subtle. This side is a little bit more puffy, and honestly, I feel like this side is a little bit brighter as well. This side is laying a little bit more flat. That puffiness and kind of hollow under my eye has subsided a little bit. So step number two is to apply an eye serum. I'm using this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. So specifically the reason why I like to use an eye serum is because eye serums generally have more active ingredients than eye creams. Eye serums are usually made for targeting either wrinkles, puffy under eyes, under eye circles, all of that stuff it has just more active ingredients and it also penetrates the skin deeper than an eye cream would whereas an eye cream the molecules are definitely a little bit larger than a serum and they're usually made to hydrate under the eyes which is good for some people if you have really dry under eyes i would recommend going with a light amount of eye cream but if you have normal under eyes and you're not really dealing with any dryness, I would recommend you use a serum, especially if you're trying to conceal under eye bags and texture, stuff like that. What I love about this serum in particular is that it has this little metal applicator. Not only that, but this serum contains caffeine, which is a really great ingredient for targeting those tired, sleepy under eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the serum. I like to squeeze a little bit out just so I'm not tugging my under eye with that metal applicator. I'm not using a ton of this. I'm kind of using this sparingly because I don't want my makeup that I'm applying on top of the serum to be slipping around because I applied too much product. Of course, we want our eyes to be hydrated, but we don't wanna overdo it because the skin around the eyes is probably the most sensitive skin on your entire face. So to avoid oversaturating the eyes, I'm just gonna apply a little bit. Every time I apply this under eye serum, it feels like I'm doing like a mini iron on my under eyes and just like ironing out all the puffiness and the fine lines, at least I like to think that's what I'm doing. So step three is corrector. We're going to be correcting our under eye circles today and we're gonna actually get into a little bit of color theory, okay? I'm going to put a color wheel on the screen here for you guys to look at. What I want you to do is determine whether you have more blue undertones or more purple undertones because the color corrector that you're going to use for either of those is actually going to be different. If you have blue tones underneath your eyes, you're gonna to wanna to correct them with a more orangey or more salmon-y color corrector, whereas if you have more purple tones under your eyes, you're actually gonna wanna reach for a more yellow under eye corrector. The reason for this is because we want to pick a color corrector that is complementary to the tones that we have under our eyes so that the colors actually cancel each other out. So underneath my eyes, I would say I generally have more purple, although I do have some blue veins under my eyes. I'm very fair, so the skin around my eyes is almost translucent. You can pretty much see through it and see all the veins and stuff, so 
that's fun. Today, I'm actually going to reach for a more yellow undertone to kind of correct the general kind of purple bag that I have under my eye. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm going to be reaching for this new palette by Makeup Forever. This is their all-in-one face palette. How gorgeous is this palette? Oh my goodness, it's fresh, never been used. So yeah, I'm testing it out today. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out some of this yellow shade from the palette. I'm just going to put it on my little makeup palette here. I think this yellow might be a little too dark for me, so I'm just gonna mix a tiny, tiny bit of my foundation in with this corrector. I'm just gonna put a little dab there. Okay, so I've mixed my own little color corrector shade here. I basically just mixed that corrector yellow in with my concealer to get a really pale yellow color. That's the fun part about makeup. You can mix, if you wanna just use a concealer that's a bit more yellow, you can do that. If you wanna mix your color corrector in with your concealer, make it a little lighter, darker, whatever. Play around, try it out. But I'm going to try this color corrector out. I'm going to start applying that underneath my I kind of focusing it where my discoloration is. Okay, whoa, I am actually pretty impressed with the coverage of this. I know I mixed it with a little bit of concealer, but this applied really light, like it feels really light under my eyes, but gave me quite a bit of coverage. I really, my purple is fully canceled out. I used the tiniest bit of product, and that's another thing I wanna say, don't use too much product, you guys, especially under the eyes, you don't wanna go overboard. It is way easier to add more than to have too much. Your under eyes are sensitive, treat them with care. We don't need a ton of product. Honestly, less is more. So for the fourth step, I'm going to be using concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the shade One Fair. And I'm using a thinner consistency concealer, but I would say that this concealer is a full coverage and satin finish. I find thick matte concealers can be a little bit much under the eyes for an everyday situation. So I found this one works really, really beautifully. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my concealer as I normally would. So after I've applied that concealer, I'm gonna blend it out using my favorite blending sponge. This one's by Makeup Forever. The difference under my eyes is insane and we literally have not even powdered yet, which is honestly one of my favorite steps of my makeup routine. I am so impressed with how these products layered together. My under eye looks so bright, but not heavy at all. This concealer, ugh, I am really, really loving it, you guys. I've used it a few times before this. This is a very new and exciting launch. I really was a big fan of their Beautiful Skin Foundation, so I did have high hopes for this concealer and I was not let down whatsoever. Look how beautiful this concealer is. Oh my goodness. Before we powder, I'm gonna let you guys in on one of my little secrets for preventing under eye creasing. So I'm taking a dry beauty blender. This is a little one by REM Beauty. It's actually perfect for under eyes. And I'm just going to lightly press this underneath my eyes to absorb any excess product before powdering. So for the fifth and final step, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under the eyes. And if you guys have seen my videos before, you guys know that I swear by this product. I love this under eye setting powder. It is so, so good. I'm taking one of these little powder puffs, specifically the one that has a triangle kind of shape to it. And you wanna act pretty quickly after powdering under your eyes because you don't want new lines to form and set those in. So go right in after you dab away the excess with that dry sponge we used in the last step and just really pat the powder into your under eyes so it sets really nicely. You don't wanna to use too much, you don't wanna to use too little, you just really wanna apply a nice even layer. Okay, look at the difference underneath my eyes and tell me that did not make the biggest difference. Oh my gosh, I 
I'm so impressed with the way these products work together, especially that Makeup Forever palette. It is honestly beautiful. So the results speak for themselves. You guys, look, this is the finished side. This is the non-finished side, completely bare. There is a stark difference. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this eye off camera. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I did my other eye and I also added a little bit of blush. This is the finished look. My under eyes look so bright. I hope you guys liked this video today. I hope it was helpful in some way or that maybe you learned a new trick or two. If you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.